Welcome to SunPower Equinox Pro Tips. This video demonstrates how to install and seal a Pegasus flashing on a composition shingle roof. We'll locate the attachments and ensure the flashing is properly located under two rows of shingles. Drill a pilot hole for lag screws and install the flashing with a bit of sealant for extra protection. Let's get started. You'll need the materials included in the Pegasus kit, which includes the flashing, the L foot, and a 5 16 inch lag screw. You'll also need some high quality 30 year roof sealant for the composition shingle flashings. Make sure your toolkit includes a caulk frame, roof crayon, hammer, a flat bar, and an impact driver. For making the rafter attachment, you'll need a power drill, a 3 16 by 6 inch drill bit, and a half inch hex socket with a 3 8 inch socket adapter. You will want to attach the Pegasus flashing and L foot at the height indicated by your chalk line. Use your hammer to sound out the middle of the rafter and mark the center of the rafter with the roof crayon. Now check the positioning of the flashing. Align the notches on both sides of the flashing with your chalk line and align the bottom notch of the flashing with the mark made by the roof crayon. Ensure the positioning of the flashing allows it to slide under two rows of shingles. If not, Take a few minutes to adjust your rail height before proceeding. The positioning of the flashing is critical to the long-term protection of any roof penetration. Now remove the flashing and use your flat bar to separate the shingles above the attachment so you can slide the flashing into place. You'll likely need to remove one or two roof nails to ensure the flashing can slide under the second row of shingles. Slide the flashing in place and use your 3 16 inch drill bit to start a pilot hole using the hole in the cone of the flashing as a guide. Remove the flashing to complete the pilot hole. When done right, the pilot hole penetrates the middle of the rafter at the intersection of the chalk line and the roof crayon mark. You should clearly mark any pilot holes that miss the rafter so you don't forget to flash and seal them later. Now apply some sealant to the underside of the flashing in an inverted U. The side with no sealant should face down the slope of the roof. Slide the flashing into place and align the cone over the pilot hole. Fill the cone with sealant, then place the L-foot over the cone and thread the lag screw through the L-foot. Position the L-foot so that the rail will attach below the L-foot on the roof. That is, the flat side of the L-foot should face down the slope of the roof. Now drive the lag into the rafter using the impact driver. Replace any roofing nails you removed and apply a few dabs of sealant, not a continuous bead, to help the shingles adhere to the flashing and adjacent rows. With your L foot in place, you're done with this roof attachment. Just repeat these steps for the remaining attachments and remember these helpful tips. Locate attachments so the flashings will be under two rows of shingles. Always drill a pilot hole for lag screws. Use some sealant to ensure a permanent seal and install so that the rails will attach below the L feet. Thanks for checking out this training video and we'll see you next time.